Hi, this is Judith Paquette. This is Accounting 201. And this video is to give a brief overview of the company analysis projects. There's two of them. What do businesses do all day? And when you think of a business, what sort of business do you think of? Big corporations like Amazon or Microsoft or small boutiques? cleaning businesses, entrepreneurships, landscape businesses, software businesses, types of businesses, nonprofits. Maybe it's a government business, a government organization. Maybe it's retail, maybe it's a manufacturer, maybe it's a service business. Govey College has alumni in all of these businesses types. And one of the really great benefits of my job of over 15 years here at Bellevue College is that I have a lot of connections to local industry and the business community within it. I often help make connections between alumni to another alumni or alumni to students. And all it, all it means to be an alumni is, is that you formally attended Bellevue College. So you could have graduated, you could have, they could have gone on to a university, they could have left Bellevue College and started a business, whatever. And our alumni love coming back and talking to our students. More on that later. Where does accounting fit in? There's a lot of ways. Accounting tracks the money flow, of course, but also performance. And I, I will keep asking this all quarter. Is a company getting better? Is it improving? Is it getting worse? Is it staying about the same? Or is it inconsistent? Is it sustainable? Is it environmentally responsible? Accounting is involved in all of that because all those things can be measured. If I convince you that accounting is interesting, that opens up a whole lot of possibilities for you. If you've ever played the game Monopoly, it will be very similar to the sorts of transactions that you'll do in that game that we'll see here. I want you to visualize a particular business. We are gonna study businesses that are organized as a corporation and we'll talk about what that means in chapter one. We're also going to research publicly traded corporations. So name a company. Visualize that company. Maybe that company is Apple, Starbucks, or Tesla, or whatever. Now try to think of a competitor to that company. So for Apple, that could be Microsoft. For Starbucks, that could be Dunkin' Donuts. And for Tesla, that could be Ford, or GM, or Rivian. What does it mean to be a publicly traded company? It means you have access to these companies' financial statements. And if you know about stock, it, buying and selling stock, it means that anyone can buy or sell stock in a publicly traded company. So I want you to think in terms of an industry. You know, we talked about Microsoft and Apple, that would be the software industry. We talked about Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. It might be specifically coffee, but in a broader sense, it would be categorized as a restaurant or cafe. Might be fashion, might be pharmaceutical or automotive. The company analysis projects are gonna analyze two companies in the same industry, basically competitors to each other. In a few weeks, you'll be assigned or you'll pick your companies and you will get their financial statements. You'll follow the instructions for signing up for your companies. On campus students, we will do this during class time. And you'll click on company financial statements to get instructions on how to obtain your financial statements. You will see the links to these assignments in two places. One here under a chapter module, this is chapter two. 
And that's when we cover picking our company teams and every single student getting the financial statements. The other place you can find the assignments is on the units and module page. There's a specific page dedicated to the company analysis projects. And it's a busy page. And you don't need to read it right this second. Um, but I want to make sure that you see that the full project instructions are on this page. So be sure to save it or print out the complete instructions. They are super helpful. As I said, in a few weeks, you'll be assigned or pick your companies and you will get their financial statements. Then we'll take a little break from the term projects and do the mini Monopoly assignment where you'll play Monopoly and create financial statements and your results. This is a smaller project, plan about three to four hours max. Then you'll come back to the team project and you'll work with your team and make a work contract. And this will cover projects one and two. You will pick a team leader or co-leaders. Everyone on the team will be listed. Tasks will be assigned to everyone with due dates, including the task of auditing or checking someone else's work. One week later, each person on the team will upload their work in process. So what are the projects about? Project one is a financial statement analysis of the two companies. It's a paper. It will involve numeric trend analysis. You'll look at three years of data and calculate whether the, the changes are going up or the changes are going down. You'll calculate key ratios. Then you'll take all that numeric data and you'll do a written analysis of each company's trends. You'll write about company one, all their trends. Are they on the, a growth track? Are they getting better? Then you'll write about company two, their own trends. So you're talking about each company individually. And then finally, you'll compare the companies to each other. You'll make a written decision of which company is better. And then you'll justify why with evidence from your data that you've created. A couple of weeks later, you'll complete project two. This is a non-financial business model analysis of the same two companies. You're gonna look at their business. You're gonna look at their target market, their customers. You're gonna look at their strengths. You're gonna name their risk factors and growth opportunities. You're gonna look up five years of stock value and talk about the stock trends. You're gonna look up something called governance score. And then you're gonna find five outside resources, five articles about each company. And you're gonna compare the articles to what you've learned about the company internally. And you're gonna learn about the company internally using their annual report. You will make a video or an oral presentation to the class, about 15 minutes long. And then you'll turn in at the same time, your video link, your PowerPoint presentation, detailed speaking notes, and an appendix. So those project one and project two, the paper, the video and documents are the big pieces of the project. After you've completed your project two, you'll do a critique of another team's project too, looking at their video or their in-class presentation and their documents, and you'll get feedback on it. Finally, and most importantly, you'll make detailed project reflections and lessons learned. And you'll say, what, what would I do differently next time? And how much did everybody really work? You'll tell me how much everyone really worked. So student feedback over the years has led me to adapt and change the project. Student feedback led me to add the contract. Student feedback led me to assign a team leader. Student feedback led me to add an additional year of data because they said we need more data when we analyze our companies. 
students usually tell me that this project made all the accounting that we've been learning all quarter make more sense when you're really looking at real life companies. And of course, students frequently know that they wish they'd started earlier, had more check-ins, did a better job checking and auditing numbers, and that they had more regular and frequent team meetings. And remember, you can do a lot of team meetings on Zoom and you know, FaceTime and all of that. Bottom line is, when you're doing a term project, you will have questions, expect them, and get comfortable asking new questions. Always better to ask earlier rather than later. And I always tell students, you're all capable of doing this project. The difference between a C paper or project and an A or B one is time. And that's all I wanted to tell you now about the project, but be sure to ask me any questions. See you in class or online.